Good day, this is Brad Caleb, PhD, and you know by now that my PhD stands for Post Hole Digger. I earned that degree at the Desert University. And some of you might say, well, what in the world is a PhD in or from the Desert University? So I've been thinking about that and trying to explain is always harder. So I decided to do it in pictures. I found something that is a post hole digger. Actually, it's a digger and it is fantastic. It is stuff that I used to work with. I had it on my property when we lived in Canada at uh, 1200 trees that I planted and all kinds of stuff that we had to move. The first week that we just moved in the territory or the property, we had uh, water over three feet of water, rainwater came over our property and my wife started to cry. So, oh, did we buy the wrong property? Yes, folks, and that is the moment where I have to really ask you to subscribe. It's just practicality. But you know, as I started to understand the land, remember, I'm a guy that sits behind the desk working with numbers trading back and forth and doing all kinds of stuff. So I worked with a three-piece suit, ties. Every tie had a certain purpose, the way I was taught on Wall Street. And I never forgot those lessons because those were private individuals, bankers that had a private plane. So they must know something. That is how I was instructed. So as I progressed in life and got my own business and we got our own property, I learned that becoming one with nature is a whole different progression. And so I want to share something today with you, which is very precious to me. And that means restorative justice, because I was a prodigal son. And I had to learn that no matter what I was a Christian, raised as a Christian, baptized several times, I believe three times in different religions, Roman Catholic, 70s, Adventist, a Pentecostal, and then again for somewhere else, just to make sure. All that stuff meant nothing till I finally came to understand what it was to be a prodigal son. And maybe you are the same. You were raised as a person of good integrity, based on quality, based on whatever it is that your life was based on. And maybe you were just a joker. You had nobody to help you, to coach you, to send you somewhere. And you had to develop it. Well, reality is it doesn't matter who you are, whether you're Chinese, American, Canadian, Dutch, or whether you're from Brazil or from Russia, or any of the other countries in between. Lately, I've been watching some Turkish movies and I tell you, the Turkish movies, how they established the country, really impressed me. I never knew that. And so when we open our mind, that's all I'm asking you today. When you open your minds, watch with me how restorative justice can put you back on track with God Almighty. So let's get started. I'm almost going to say praise the Lord because for me that was my eye-opener because we are created according God's image. Now it's a pleasure to be here in Las Vegas to present to you. Now I get invited to do keynotes across the globe and while it's easy for me to be here in Las Vegas it isn't always easy for me to travel across the world and even when I do I can't always speak the local language. Well, what if neither language nor distance mattered for me to deliver a fantastic keynote? What if technology could help me be anywhere I needed to be and speak any language I wanted? Well, it can. That is what the hologram does for me. You have God Almighty. Kaboom! The big boom, or whatever you want to call it. But somewhere, somehow, we got a kickstart. What you're about to see is an exact hologram of me 
wearing the same outfit that we recently captured at a mixed reality studio. And I don't speak Japanese, but what if I wanted to deliver my keynote in Japanese? Our society was born, or it started, or it came from an asteroid, whatever the scientists want to call it. But I'm reading up on origin, Principius, and other people. I am read about a guy called Plato. Some of you might know Plato, but Plato was a philosopher. At those days, in those days, they didn't know exactly how to say prayer, etc. So it was philosophy. Somebody sat down and thought. And sometimes they sat this way, and you know, we have the favorite saying, or, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm doing. Stuff like that. Using Azure AI technology, I can translate my English into Japanese and train it to sound exactly like me. The same voice tones, those same inflections. Now we've brought this together. So first I'm gonna put on my HoloLens 2 here, and then we'll flip in the room to the special camera so you can see exactly what I'm seeing. Let's get started. First, let me introduce you to Minnie Me. There she is, my perfect holograph. And thanks to the power of HoloLens 2, she just floats right with me. I'm literally holding my hologram, so natural. Now she's a little small to do a keynote. So she can do full-size Japanese keynote. Render keynote. Hologram になるときには本当に驚くべきことがあります。私たちは最新の複合現実キャプチャー技術を使用し、私のホログラムを作成しています。実在の人物をホログラムとして見たことがあるかもしれませんが私が実際に日本語を話しているのが新しいのです私は日本語を話しませんが私の声とホログラムは完璧な日本語で話していますこれはニューラルテキスト読み上げと呼ばれる最新の人工知能技術いわゆるニューラル TTS を使用しています We now know it as contemplating, meditation, or kung fu, or karma, or sitting and staring at the navel of your belly, whatever you want to call it. But if you take time today to listen to this and watch this video, you will be knowing that we are taking time to explain something that has been rather difficult for most of us to understand. And what is that? How come I have something that I hate, and that is God? I don't like it that in the pandemic so many people are dying. Why is this person doing that? Why is so-and-so doing this? How come that this is him? I don't understand it. And in reality, what we don't understand is that we all have a life we have given in life that we are a steward of. Now in the hologram, you will notice that there is a person, and this was from Microsoft, this is a person that can see herself created, but it is not the person itself. God created us like a hologram. We are connected with God through all kinds of tiny little things, and they call it spheres. Some of the people are familiar with the 12 spheres, and the Kabbalah talks about it. I understand that the Buddhists and Confucius and others are talking about it, but many religions understand a little bit of who is God. I don't want to discuss who is God. I just want to discuss you and me, because I can feel this. But I am created according to his image. I'm a hologram.
something happened that we had to be kicked out out of the Eden. But is that true? Uh-oh. I believe that we live in the Eden that we created. We created a mess. And as I learned as we had our property, if I don't took care of the weed, guess what happened? The weed got as tall as I was. Six foot tall. 176, almost two meters. So that is what happened. I was created in his image, but I was not told all the knowledge that I needed in order to stay perfect. And somebody knew that and he used to a form of a snake that was at that time a beautiful creature. So going back now to the hologram, so if I am in my physical being created according to the image of God, then there is something that is not yet perfected. There are a couple of connections that I am missing. And that is where the difference starts. I came and come to the understanding that calling yourself a Christian, being part of the body of Christ, enabling others to do things that they're not supposed to do, only is deflammatory of the name of God. Because we are still in a paradise of our doing. The paradise we see, we don't like because it is not run by the spiritual connections, the spheres, the 12 spheres that God is working with. See, we got 10 commandments. Those were not commandments as expressed by our prodigal son and brother, our Jewish brothers. Yes, folks, the Jews think they are the chosen ones. And so are you and I. We are the chosen ones, but the people that are really the chosen ones are the ones that are doing what God wants us to do, to be like him, to be perfect like him. And I tell you, my friends, I am not perfect. Some of you might say, wow, he admitted he is not perfect. And so aren't you. You are not perfect either. But we can do something by understanding that those commandments were not commandments, they were guidance. Because this is the bar minimum that we need to have in our lives in order to enter that kingdom. There is a small path, and the small path is going against your own grain. Being able to acknowledge, I goofed up. For me to confess that I have made mistakes was not easy. It took a lifetime and a sentence. And during that sentence, I saw certain things that I always believed. And I noticed that that was not right. But God in his love has opened a door for you and me so that we can continue to move on. That's why he is so patient. He has patience and we need to develop patience because that's part of our new creation. Our new creation is a new Br'er Caleb that can be in the presence of the Lord because I have learned to have peace, but I also have learned to walk in the spirit, to walk the small path, to walk the light, follow the light, the way, the truth and the light. That is what I'm following. Yeshua HaMashiach, he was our example. He made the connection. And now you and I can follow that. As a hologram, we are looking at an image that looks like God, but isn't God. But we are committed to go and follow restorative justice so that it will be restored. So all we need to do is rectify a few mistakes. And that takes time. That is not easy. I am 70 years of age, and I tell you, it is finally dawning to me. Many, many, many years. I was convinced. But you have to be able to say, Father, I have sinned. Open my eyes. Help me understand. Whether you're Chinese, Japanese, Korean, Thai, Indonesian, or whether you're 
highway high up in the north in Finland or down south in Brazil, or whether you're an American or Canadian, European, it doesn't matter. We all are created the same way. And don't let anybody tell you that PMS, politics, money, or religion controls you because you have a free mind, my friend. You are created according God's image, not the religion that you confess because that has nothing to do with it. I dare, I dare you to be honest with yourself. God bless you. And remember, tough times never last, but tough people do. Bye for now.